and welcome to the Overflow Podcast. Ah, this is our year end episode. Yeah, yeah. My name is Joaquin. I'm still Jake. And we are here to have fun with you. We're here to say goodbye. <sighs> so I don't know the good, the oh something so something old, old, something old land sign something 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 something. All I know is the first line. Something. So old acquaintance be forgot, right? And so I want to forget all my old acquaintances. Old land sign. Yeah. You're off. And of, you're, that's it. You're off. You're all forgotten, suckers. <laughs> um. So yeah. So we got we got a we got a bunch of stuff we want to cover. Anyway. So once again, Joaquin, this is Jay. Well, the guy, the guy's Jay. Uh, Overflow podcast at thisisoutcry.com. The last episode. The of last episode of the year. Sorry, we weren't with you guys last week. Um. Uh, but but we, we had all kinds of weird. Christmas happened. Christmas and work issues and all and all that whatnot to the others. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually start. With our song, because there's a lot of stuff we want to talk about today. We're just we're going to talk about low lights, highlights, and what next, and what's next uh, for the Overflow Podcast for Jay for Joaquin. Um, Word. So uh, this is a song that uh, we found, as all the songs that we play, <laughs> we find, we find, <laughs> um, and we actually found this uh, on the uh, website of our good friends, uh, new release today. Right? Yeah. I mean, yes, it, new it, release. I can remember. I'm always calling it something you different. It, yeah. You know, if if you guys remember the episode where where um, Kevin and Marcus were 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 guests, right? And um, <laughs> and um, you know, they they say that they put out like new music, new, new music artists weekly. Yeah, weekly. So, so. We, we use them as a resource. We're gonna, yeah. tonight. You know, and yeah. uh, we found something pretty dope. Yeah, we really like it. This uh, artist called Annette. She's out of Singapore, which is really She's cool. out of Singapore. So she sings out of Singapore. Oh, and yeah, um, uh, the no, s- no bad jokes in 2018. This, uh, <laughs> no. My goal is more bad jokes in 2018. <laughs> um, Annette, the song is called Ready for a Savior. Uh, so we're going to play it, then we'll come back, and we hope you enjoy it. Boom. Slip and slide, I lose the fight every time, but I just keep on trying. Cause if I could, then I would have been my own lifeguard in the pool. I used to say that I'll obey every moment I would try to change.
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, uh what was, was it? That? Annette, Annette ready for a savior. Which is something that we should all bring into this new year, right? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry yeah. if, if there was a delay. I I got so caught up in the song that I forgot to Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, Yo, sure. you gotta see the video to the song. Yes, the video is amazing. Because the video matches us here at the Overflow Podcast. Yes. And, you know, our nerdy listeners also because um, it shows this little girl as, like, different DC superheroes. <laughs> That's right. Because we all know DC is the best. That DC is the best. Yeah, I said it. I said it. <sighs> but anywho. Talking about DC. um, Stanley turned 95 today. Wow. I don't know how that's talking about DC. I don't either. Well, didn't he, didn't he apply at DC and they didn't hire him? He applied at DC and they, um, they thought that his stories were not good. So there we go. There's the DC connection. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did DC miss the boat on that one, huh? Well, sort of, because like DC Comics does have the better stories. Well... Yeah, and, I the, guess. And, the and the better, the, better artist, the greater, um, the greater but, heroes. But it's still like, dude, like ninety five years old today. Wow, right? And then um, I saw something online where he has been, he has been um, featuring, or what is it, like the cameos, right? You know, how he cameos in every, but he's been doing it for over twenty years. Like even back in the day in the Incredible Hulk TV show. He did a cameo. Really? Like, way big. There's, there's like, somebody put all his cameos together. Even, like, in the Spider-Man cartoon. It's like, I, right. didn't, I, like I, I don't put those together, right? He That's was true. In the cartoon in uh, Big Big Hero 6. Really? I, I, it's like, anyway. Wow. That's pretty awesome. They put it, it's like 10 minutes over, slightly over 10 minutes of his cameo appearances. Like, he was in More Rats. Mm. I forgot that he was in More Rats. Oh, wow. I'll, I'll send you, I'll send you the link. Yeah, like, man, it's, that's it's, cool. Like that's not even a like a, that's not even a Marvel property. No. But, he, but but Kevin Smith is a huge comic yeah, book nerd. Yeah, exactly. So. Right, Kevin Smith and Ben um, Affleck is also in there. So you know, yeah, so it's dope. that's awesome. So um, I right, so it's always that's a little trivia. Yeah, there we go. So as <laughs> always, how was your Christmas, Jay? Um, uh, my Christmas was dope. It was dope. It was dope. Uh, I was a little I, worried there. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was. Uh, what's I, the wanted best to, word? I wanted to say interesting, right? Because it was interesting. You know, this year, um, we well, <laughs> we didn't decide, but like um, Magda brought up going to her friend's house. All right, so you know, but maybe our listeners don't know. My wife is here alone from Poland. Right, no family, no anything. Right. So when she first got here. She made friends with other Poles that came here from Poland, and basically they were each other's family. Right. So one in particular, her name is Anya. She always, it was it was big for her to have everybody who was displaced the way they were right. and celebrate Christmas together. So now, as she has become like uber successful in her real estate business, she still has this tradition. So since when Magda married me. You know, Polish Christmas was over. It was now time for super loud, right. you know, too much food, Puerto Rican Christmas. So she asked me if we can. There's, there's never too much food. <laughs> never at all. She asked me if we can go to her friend Anya's house and have, like, traditional Polish Christmas, which um, I agreed to, right? Because right. we tried it one time, but it was just, it was just her, Junie, and I, and... Like, the experience wasn't the same. You tried Polish Christmas, just you three. Yeah, just us three. <clears throat> okay. So since it was just us three, the experience wasn't the same. <clears throat> yeah, it's not. But it yeah. was, it was, it was, 
It was dope. There was like, like maybe like 34, 37 people. Wow. Including kids, like a whole lot of kids, right? This woman, like she hired a Santa to show up with like a bag of gifts and that sat down in the living room and handed it out to all the kids. It was amazing. And a traditional Polish Christmas has 12 different dishes. Okay. Yeah. That, that they go through, right? I think right. I said to the article. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And they have a tradition, which I thought was awesome, where the table is set and it's full, and they have one place setting that they keep empty. For guests. For, no, for oh. just in case, like, someone who's down on his luck, a homeless guy or someone who just has a need, just happens to be around, or maybe I bump into somebody who doesn't right. have somewhere to spend Christmas, so, so. and he's like... All I'm hearing is I should have showed up. <laughs> right? And he's, <laughs> he's the honored guest, Right. Like you know, because yeah. according to them, nobody should spend Christmas alone. Oh, so awesome. I thought I thought that was pretty dope. So now I know if I ever live in a place where I'm just by myself and no family, find some Polish people, find and, a Polish and, house, and, and go, and go, go celebrate Christmas with them. Yeah, find yeah. the Catholic Church. Be like, hey, listen, I need the ca- <laughs> what's the Catholic Church with the most Polish people? And just go. It's like, man, this guy's got a thing. Yeah, it's like, nah, man, Christmas, man. I want to, I want to be with somebody. Yeah, it's it's I tradition. Be peoples. It's tradition. Any every Polish household, if they celebrate traditional traditional Polish Christmas, then they have to have an open place set. Uh, it's pretty cool. That's dope. That's dope. Now I I did the, what I found interesting was like a lot of dishes with mushrooms. A lot of dishes, <laughs> and me allergic, allergic to mushrooms. <laughs> but um, since Anya is a friend, it, it was dude. Yo, yo, you laugh right? Like I told I told Mark that hey, you know, just be prepared for me to like. Not eat certain, not, not eat, eat certain food, right? Yeah. Just or just not eat. I'm just gonna, just, I'm just gonna eat pierogies. That, not <laughs> even because the pierogies also had mushrooms. Oh, really? That's yeah, like just, I'm just gonna eat. The article I read didn't say anything. About I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna eat desserts. I'm just yeah. gonna eat desserts. I'm gonna eat all the cake and all the pie. That still sounds like I, a great deal. Yeah, it's, yeah, it was awesome. But um, since, I mean, you know, I've known Anya for the eight years I've been with Magda. Well, almost eight years, and um, like she, so she knows about the allergy. So as soon as I walked in, she was like, Jay, this here is all for you. Like, no mushrooms here, no mushrooms here, no mushrooms here. And then the rest was like fish and whatever. So yeah. it was I cool. Don't like no. Fish. I don't like fish. It was good. They she made like some sweetened carrot, whatever, to go over it. Right. So you didn't really taste the fish much. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that sounds <laughs> sounds interesting. But it was <clears throat> it was I'm not even gonna front. It was it was interesting. It was different. Right. Right. It was different because it was more respectful of. It's very tradi- like I said, the, the traditions. It's very right. so about the tradition. It, it seems was more like, respectful yeah. about, you know, why we celebrate Christmas. You know, the fact, you know, the birth of Jesus, our Savior, whatever. Right. Rather than, you know, the commercialism of it all. You know, it was, it was, it was I, I can't wait to experience this, a traditional Polish Christmas again. Hopefully next year in Poland, because then forget about it. It'll be bananas. Right. Then we'll hear Jay passed away in Poland because, because, of, the because of the mushrooms. <laughs> You're crazy. Come on, man. You know how my mother-in-law is with me. I'm going to be like, that oh, woman loves me. I'm going to be like, be like, I'll get that text. Oh, Jay passed away. Nah, he crazy. ate, he ate, he ate a piece <laughs> of cake and they put mushroom <laughs> in mushrooms it. Mushrooms in the cake. <laughs> <laughs> It was unexpected. <laughs> now they make their own gingerbread. Uh, they make like this this cake made of poppy seeds. Like it's right. Just, oh, it's amazing. Right. Okay. But no, my uh, mother. Come on. Go uh, over there. My mother in law will probably. Uh, be like, come on, man. Don't she'll, ki- she'll, don't kill my joke, man. Don't probably, kill the joke. No, but like no, I love this because Magda hates how much how much um, she spoils me. So I was like, nope. Maniac is gonna be here this year. No mushrooms at all in this house. Well, yeah. Oh, and then okay. the whole family will hate me because you know they all love mushrooms. Ugh. I mean, I like mushrooms. I'm not gonna say yuck on mushrooms, but every dish with mushrooms does not sound like that good. Uh, I wouldn't know because no um, <laughs> I, I, um, I, I don't go near. You should, you should get a, a, a new allergy test done. They'll be like, man, Jay, it wasn't the mushrooms. It was like the cheese or something. I don't know, just some odd, weird thing. <laughs> it's like that you like you like to eat. It's like what? Wait, I would like to because. But remember that um, when Magda and I were dating, we were in Alabama. I had to be rushed to the emergency room <laughs> because <laughs> I ate mushrooms by mistake and my throat was like ah. closing super fast. You know how so. I feel about people and allergies. It's all fake. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> it's all fake. No one, no one, no one. Anyway, I'm not even. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna save that rant for some. How was day. your Christmas? My Christmas was pretty awesome. It was pretty good. I. I mean, I worked Christmas Day, but you know, Christmas Eve went to the folks. Um, had, you know, the pernil. We had brisket. You know, just the kind of the Puerto Rican stuff. And then, um, uh, I went to work. Had you know, worked uh, Christmas Day, which is fine because it was easy. And then, uh, Christmas Day went back to the to the folks and that's when we did our gift you know exchange yeah. stuff so it was cool you know um yeah, i was hoping you would do that christmas eve me be- too because like I, cr- I tried <laughs> i cooked the giant penny just for i know magda jr well dude how about how about how about you you were like you know what you doing and then and then dennis hit me up hey man if you're you know what you doing christmas day and i was like well you know i'm going back to the folks to do our gift exchange and he was like oh well you know I was gonna say, you know, come on over, eat with us. So I'm like, uh, you know, like I was like, amazing. I, got, so I go to I go to Dennis's, then I go to Jay's. You know, I just kind of make the kind of make the make the uh, make the rounds. But then I find out that one of the reasons they wanted me to go to uh, Dennis wanted me to go to his house was because his wife wanted me to meet somebody. And I was like, I was like, you buried the lead. You should have started that first. You, you start. You start with, with hey. You know, my wife wants you to meet this lady, <laughs> this chick. Come uh, over so you can. And I said, and I would come over, stay about thirty minutes. I'd make my family wait, and then I'd go to the fam. I'd be like, and, hey, and your family would not mind. <laughs> no, they would not. But uh, well, my sisters would because they'd want to open the gifts. Um, <laughs> but no, I was like, man, you buried the lead, bro. You <laughs> buried real. the That's, lead. You know, you, you leave uh, off with that. Hey, uh, Joaquin, what are you doing on Christmas Day? Because my wife's. <laughs> My wife invited a friend that she wants to. She wants yeah, and to apparently meet. she's uh, one of the trainers at one of the Orange Theories around here. Okay, so so she's, so she's in shape. <laughs> <laughs> that's not kind of bad. <laughs> that's that's not bad. <laughs> uh, so, but it can still happen, right? They can still make it I happen. Guess. Whatever, yeah. I mean, do, yeah. do, I, do I need I to do I, I need to care. text Dennis? <laughs> it's like, yo, make that happen. Make oh, happen. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that. I'm sure that it's. I mean, some what are you doing for New Year's? <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> and I'm coming home to sleep. New I'm Year's doing, Eve or New Year's I'm Day? I'm working both. I'm oh, working yeah? New Year's Eve. Um, I'm, I'm doing 16 hours. I'm working from 10 to 2. That's crazy. So, I mean, it's easy money. So, I got I to gotta work it. It's still murder, though. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take a nap at work on the <laughs> second shift. Like, you know, like, like, I was talking to my buddy who I work with in the mornings. I was like, well, you know what? I can just go to sleep. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. To, I'll, go to, I'll go like into one of the conference rooms. Yeah. Go to sleep for an hour. Yeah, I, and then come back. And he doesn't care because it's it's New Year's Eve, so the stores are closed. Everything mm-hmm. is for the most part closed. I now. remember a those lot, conference rooms. A lot I used of to, coming through. I used to catch a lot of um, a lot of the 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 cleaning crew <laughs> asleep asleep <laughs> asleep. Yeah, and I would take I would, I would take pictures of them. It's like, hey, <laughs> how'd it go tonight? Oh, it was great. I did a lot of work, really, because look what I got. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's dope. But yeah, so I mean, but it was good. So I, you know, I mean, I don't know. And thing, I don't know for me, I, I, and maybe for you too. Like New Year's Eve is not a thing, really a thing anymore. Like you know, like it's not. It's not like it's not like um like we're at an age where it's not like uh, the people we know. It's not like they're all getting together and it's having a big celebration. Everybody just kind of wants to stay home. Well, some people I know are doing that, but we're not invited anymore because you know we don't go to church with them anymore. Right. So I mean, it's like shots fired. Uh, that's. One of Jay's New Year's resolutions: less shots. No, Fire. more shots. More <laughs> shots. Jay's, shots. Jay, Jay's shots. gonna Jay's gonna shoot more shots. <laughs> gonna be more shots fired coming from Jay next year, and it's gonna be more like insulting <laughs> things from me. So, or more very inappropriate but, kind of. Thing. But, but have, the, have the funny thing is, just today, like Junie called me, and um, he because you know. I, you know, I let him know I was gonna come straight here because I, right. I had a I had a a late work day today, and he asked me if he can go. He was invited. He told me he was invited to a friend's house for New Year's Correct. Eve, right? So if he can go, <clears throat> right? I said, like, well, let me get back to you tomorrow, just to make him wait, um, because <laughs> it's, it's fun torturing him. Right? Because I, and my thought process is like, yeah, of course you can go because I know that I am going to go to sleep. On New Year's Eve and just wake up on New Year's. Right. right. I'm not gonna wait for no ball to drop. I'm not gonna right. wait for no countdown. Right. Like, the but, kids are asleep by eight o'clock. Right. I want to be in bed by. You nine. know what? You know one of the one of the one of the reasons I don't like doing New Year's Eve 
It's because you're supposed to kiss somebody on New Year's Eve. And I'm just by myself. What am I going to do? I'm going to grab Sonia and be like, hey, Sonia. I'm going to kiss my pillow. No, she'll be pissed off at you because she'll be asleep Because I, I woke her up. <laughs> <laughs> she'll be in my bed. Like, wait up, wake up. Um, but if next year I have a girlfriend... Oh, we're gonna we're gonna party oh, we're gonna New party. Year's Eve. <laughs> we're gonna party. We're gonna party at New Year's Eve. Um, so I guess that means we'll be going to bed again early. We'll be, um, we'll, be, we'll have a new tradition of Benin on New Year's on Eve. On New Year's also. Eve, woo woo. woo. Well, listen, um, Benin anytime. Benin anytime, <laughs> yo. Like, what the heck? Um, oh, all right. So, and by the way, that Benin pizza, right? So amazing. Was it good? Oh, that, I brought. That look good. I brought. I brought slices to work, and I told Vince. I said, yeah, I brought some of that, that Benny pizza. <laughs> he, he, he was like, thank you, Jesus. Got up and went. <laughs> he, he raided my lunch. <laughs> I was like, so uh, how many slices can I take? It's like, dude, at least leave me one so I can eat <laughs> this afternoon. Yeah, nice. So, um, all right, so let's, let's, uh, let's kind of go into, so, so this episode, this, this week, we just wanted to kind of celebrate um, Two years of so the, yeah so we OP. we're like we're like um, I think we'll be actually so is it next September will be three years so we're like a two and a half ish or a little less two and or a, something two, two and a something two and something still, or the other it's still two which years. is amazing because the reality is uh, me and Jay have uh, have um, a tendency to we dream big and we don't do anything <laughs> I don't know I don't know how to I don't know how to say that we like. It's, like we have gr- great it's not dreams so much that and we ideas, but we don't do anything. Is we don't finish. Right, we fizz a lot. We're like um, we're like firecrackers. We're it's like <laughs> we're bam right at the beginning, and then like that's it's like when you were a kid, you're like and you light a sparkler, and it's like uh, and then it dies, and you just kind of like uh, that was it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's how me and Jr. are with our ideas. Like we have these great ideas, and then it might flare up, and then. Then yeah, gone. but we made then it two gone. years. But I, we've, I was, done, we've done two years. I was telling Magda, hey, we, we, two years of this podcast thing. And she was like, wow, like you guys actually did. Yeah. <laughs> kept it up yeah, for two thanks, years. Thanks, Magda. Hey, hey, you know, she, she knows us both. But um, <sighs> yeah, so we wanted, yeah, so we just wanted to, we wanted well, to uh, well, it's, just kind of celebrate some of the highlights. Um, And it's different this year, right? Because Talk um, about some of the lowlights. 2016, you know, we had just started, and we there were a lot of changes, a lot of growing, right. a lot of struggles and growing pains. Right. But um, a lot of episodes with weird echoes that show up out of nowhere. A whole bunch of nonsense. But Crazy. 2017, we 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 hit a stride, right? Yes. We we kind of figured, we, hit, we 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 kind of re, you know we got an identity like we right. know we know right. we figured out we some are. things. We figured out who we are, and then we. Yeah, it was it was an interesting thing because as we were talking about earlier, that we 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 started some things that were actually pretty good, and so for whatever reason we got distracted or um something happened where we stopped doing them, and then we we kind of lost. I feel like we lost our way a little bit, right? Um, just just because we, but I think it's a it's it's um it's not so bad. We lost our way a little bit, but I think because we 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 got. We got comfortable. We got comfortable. Yes, that's which, the same thing I was going to say. Which is is a good thing and a bad thing. Yes, you know, I think a good thing because I think we're we've improved because we're a little more comfortable. We're a little, little bit better, but because we got comfortable, we kind of kind of slacked off, slacked off on some things. So mm-hmm. so um, yeah. So we're we, you know we're really excited. So why don't you know so so let's go let's go ahead and just start with um. You know what? Let's go. Let's start with the low lights of this year to get those out of the way. <laughs> um, uh, when it comes to kind of the overflow podcast and just just the kind of the, some of the things that that we've we've done together, so we're gonna go with some low lights, then we're gonna go with some, then we'll from there we'll go we'll hit our highlights, our guests. Well, th- thankfully we don't have a lot of low lights. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, well, I am pessimist. Um, you give me another ten minutes, I could come with a bunch of low lights, but. Um, yeah, so so low lights for this year. We had um, very very early in the year. Uh, we lost our friend uh, Gio, aka Ice. Nice. Um, and he had died in a in a car accident. Yep. And so it was one of those things where uh, it just. Uh, I mean, I guess all death. 
like 90% of death is just catches us unexpected. You know, unless someone is right. like, you know, cancer, uh -huh. like where there's like, you've got three days to live, you know, kind of thing. Um, you know, or somebody says they get super sick, but man, when it comes to like, you know, um, you know, this kind of stuff, he was a young man. He was, looked like he was finally turning that corner. Finally, he was coming back, wanted to come back to the church, wanted to come back to God. You know, he was going to school. He was, you know, I mean, he was, you know, he was doing some things. And, and um, yeah, it's always, it's always sad when, um, you know, when a, when a young man or a young woman um, pass away um, in the manner that he did. <clears throat> you know, where it was just, you know, just poor decisions made. In, in driving and it's just in the blink of an eye. Uh, well, that's it. It was a poor decision of the of the cop that was trying to speed through that light. And well, I'm just saying, poor and, decisions were made. I mean, and, and smashed into him. But the deal is, like, it was rough. It's it's still it's still rough for me, right? Because I mean, we were really really close, and um, you know, it's, it's hard. It's it's like I can't even like really get into it or talk about it much, and especially since um, uh, Monday night. We went um, to the uh, the Christmas lights at yeah, Life, Life College at, at, uh -huh. Life, at Life University, and that's where he was studying architecture. No, he wasn't studying architecture there. Yeah, he they, was studying at um, at KSU Marietta right. Campus. Yeah, Life just does chiropractic stuff. Right, that at KSU non, Marietta. Non but still, like being being in that area for me, like, for me on Monday night, right? Like it was, like it was rough. Like just remembering, it was it was rough, um, but you know he was he yeah, he was he was like a brother to me. I've known him since since he was a teenager, and he had just come to the Lord. Um, and he was the first one, <laughs> it's like the, the first one that I would like mush because he would always like refer to me as pastor. No, it's right. pastor. Like even when he wasn't, even when he wasn't in church, in church and serving yeah. God, and, like, he would always you know introduce yeah, me to yeah. his friends. Like, this is this is my pastor. Right, if, right. If he, he, had, he was calling that over you, and you um, were rejecting it all the time. Like he would get a girl. Shame on you. That, you know what? That's a low. That's a low light. <laughs> that's not a Jay light. rejecting. You know, he would like introduce the girl to me. Well, you know, if 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 if, if my pastor thinks that you're good, you right? Know, that that you're a nice person, that you're cool, or whatever. Then you know, then I'll see you again. I was like, dude. Well, you know, that's a lot. You, that's you, a lot of pressure. <laughs> you, you better go find a pastor then, because <laughs> that's not me. Right? Like it was. It's. It's. Yeah. So. So we had Gio pass away early, earlier in the year. Um, a little more lighthearted. Um, I had a hernia surgery on the thirtieth, which stunk. It hurt a lot, and um, cost us to to miss an episode. <sighs> yeah. Um. That was the that was the real tragedy. That was the real tragedy <laughs> in it all. I'll tell you what, man. It's like I I haven't been working out either because I can't. And I just found out today. So I had seen the doctor last week, last Friday, the twenty second, and I understood that I could start working out again. I just couldn't lift anything heavy. Right. So today I went and talked to uh, one of the coaches, and he was like, "Oh yeah, well we can you know we can put you on this. We can get you doing this. You know we can we can work around." to get you back um and so i asked so I, but he was like we can put you on the strider it's like an elliptical machine so i was just yeah. like okay he goes just make sure it's okay so i texted and I, so i sent a message to the doctor i was like oh you know is the strider okay i want to get back into it and <laughs> and his assistant responded she was like yeah um on the notes here he doesn't want you to do anything for four weeks Ooh. for an extra four weeks and i was like <laughs> totally misunderstood. So the four weeks would be on the fifteenth. Right. So so that's an extra. I mean, whatever. It's an extra week. But because I'm still healing, I still got the where they where they made the incision mm -hmm. on my belly button. It's still healing. It hasn't completely healed yet. So I'm really struggling with that a little bit. But I'm just like, oh man. Right. So I got to wait a whole another two weeks, three weeks, really. So um, so wait. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, man, I'm good. I'm I'm dying because I miss it. I miss I miss going working out with those folks, um, and I feel I eat better when I'm working out, uh, as as to when I'm not. But that's all right. You know, we go try right. to figure it out from there. Um, all right. So now uh, another low light. 
Oh, I say the third low light. I was just gonna skip that one. Uh, so yeah, so uh, third low light. Why don't you tell us what was another that third low, low light? light? Was the third um, and last low light of twenty seventeen? The tw- the is the the pausing of Legacy Church? Legacy Church was paused, right? And only, I mean, it's a low light because you know, I mean, you know, it's one of those things that you know um, we were completely sold out to, and our our hearts were into it, and we we worked a, a lot. You know, for it, but um, it's a highlight when you realize that uh, you know when you move outside of the will of God, even though it was a godly thing, right? But when you move outside of the will of God, hey, you know you're gonna you're gonna fall on your face, <laughs> right? Right, and that and that's the thing. I think we yeah when so, you so that's both like a low light and a highlight and a highlight. Yeah, when you when you because um, me and Jax were having the same conversation earlier about a, a different thing. Um, and I'm, that's what I'm asking. It's hilarious because I'm asking Jay. I'm like, you know, is this just something that's in your heart, or is this something that God wants you to do? And um, uh, it was just kind of like <laughs> my w- response was, "It's a good question." That's a good question. It's <laughs> a good question right? because, and that's and that's and, and and that's I think we could we could um dedicate an episode to that because there are things that are for the kingdom that we have in our heart to do, but that doesn't mean that God has placed those things in our hearts. Correct. Right? I mean, what we're talking about, I was I was trying to, I was thinking about, and I'm 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 gonna start praying to make sure that it's God and not me about doing a conference, a legacy conference. Right. And and a lot of it's because that yeah, it's in my heart. It's always been in my heart to do. We've talked about right, for, we've talked about it for, for probably years. the last at <laughs> right? least the last five years, right. Right. And and it's because it's something that I've I've always wanted to do because I've been I've I, I've spoken in some I've been to f- to a few. Right. And, and I feel that a lot of the conferences that I've been a part of or that I've gone to um, have been more lofty than anything. Right. Right. They don't speak directly into any specific cause or thing. It's like, oh, hey, how to be a better leader. Yeah, that, you know, that's not. That's not a topic that um, the layperson, right, can get into, you know, or or, or the non-believer can be drawn into, right. So um, as far as you know, whatever. And then that's that's a whole other thing. I, I tweeted about that today and got a couple responses, but no, yesterday, but whatever. But um, just because it's something, and and then like events and things like that, they're easy for me to put together. So just because something is for the church or for the kingdom that you want to do. Right. It doesn't mean that God has placed it there. Right. right. So it's not that it's that it's bad. <clears throat> right. But it's not maybe it's bad. It's maybe it's bad for perfect, you. It's not in his perfect will. Right. It's not what he wants you to do. Right. 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 So. I mean cause, yeah, because I mean it's like, yeah, so it's like, oh, if someone asks you, hey, we're putting a conference together, can you help? Yes. That's awesome. But because that's not yours. Right? Because right. maybe that's not what you need to do. Maybe that's your role is just to help them out as far as that that's concerned but i think you know yeah we we sometimes get caught up in wanting to do and it's not just something bad but me it's not something that is for us maybe it's something that we need to be in the background not be in the not be in the foreground and so it was just it was just kind of funny because because joe was like uh yeah that's a good question yeah it, no it was <laughs> i was cause... like i'm thinking yes i got him <laughs> yes, because you know, in your face. I mean, I have been praying. I have been praying, you know, praying. But I, I, I plan as I pray, right? And there's, 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 there's a fault to that, right? Because I plan as I pray, and I put things together, and I create things, and I design things as I pray. But um, and I move on them without getting that peace from God to like, yes, go, right? Like, do this, right? right? This is what I want you to do. Yeah, so so that's a lesson for all of us. Is unlike that, you unlike know. legacy, which was like I just pray to pray to pray because it's not something that I wanted <laughs> to do. <laughs> but even with legacy, we have yeah. I mean, if it 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 got paused because we we had a plan. Um, Jay felt great about the plan. He felt God was moving in him in that plan, and then that's s- the thing, right? Because that was the, that was the plan from the jump. And then somebody somebody spoke something that wasn't wrong and 
uh, part of it is it was I, like I said, I, I take the blame on part of this because, you know, amongst my friends, I'm the naysayer, right? I'm the pessimist. I'm the guy that, you know, like if Jay if Jay wants to get like pumped up, like if Jay wants to be pumped up about an idea, he talks to Juice. Um, he don't talk to me because I'm I'm immediately with the questions, right? I'm like, well, but why do you want to do that? But how how does that feel? You know, and so when I needed to be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to be the, I tried to be like the juice character and be like, come on, dude, yeah, we can do it, and yeah, it didn't work out. So, um, so the lesson there is, don't be the pump, the pump like raw raw guy if that's not in you. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't go against the identity that God <laughs> stay, gave you. Stay in your lane. I should when I should have been pessimistic. <laughs> I tried to be positive, and look what happened. Um, but yeah, but you know what? It's all it's all uh, it's all just a it's just a learning, uh, just a lesson, right? We just we learn and and we keep moving. Right. Um. So let, let's, so let's kind of quickly let's go through. What do you want to do? You want to do the guests or the highlights first? You want to kind of we hit the low lights. Let's hit the highlights. Let's hit the highlights. Let's hit the highlights. All right. So highlights. Uh, number one, we've talked about two years. We have we have got two years in. We're super excited. Um, we're super excited about. Uh, and well, I guess we'll we'll kind of talk a little bit about this in the coming life. But we're kind of excited about um, uh, next year, and 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 some of it is just we. It's and it's just like what we mentioned earlier. It's like me and Jay have some ideas that the things we need to do. We just need to make sure we are um, persistent and 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 achieving those things. So two years we've been two years. You know, we're going into our third. Um, we're looking forward to. Um, Hiring somebody, you know, we're, we're hiring right. volunteers. And, and by yeah, we're hiring. <laughs> I was about to say, and by hiring, I mean, uh, we'll feed you. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Right. Um, we're, we're hiring volunteers. Um, so, so we have t- we have two years. We have two. Uh, we have two years in. Um, two years in. That's like it's unbelievable uh, when I think about it. So we'll go ahead and go with uh, we'll go with this one. Um, I've lost uh, last time I talked to my doctor. Um, I lost a total of 86 pounds. Damn. No, that's a lie. 68 pounds. <laughs> I wanted to be 86. 68 pounds. I've lost a total of 68 pounds. Okay. Right. Um, so I'm down. Well, I think I gained some weight over the, the not working out and eating and Christmas, Christmas and all that stuff. So actually on Monday, uh, I actually went and bought some vitamins today. And on Monday, I'll be getting back on the diet. Um, but you know, hey, I've lost 68 pounds. I'm about two. I started at 342. I'm about 270, 275, 280 right now. That's a lot. That's which like, is that's, that's like huge. A small person. Which is yeah, I've lost. Um, I've lost a uh, like a first grader. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, super excited. Like my clothes. Matter of fact, I was. Uh, I've been wearing these pair of jeans the last um, like the whole last week. That were 48s. When I got them, there was there were they were even then they were they were tight. Now they're a little bit loose and they're actually a little little baggy instead right. of like hugging, you know, being real tight. Which I like wearing baggy clothes anyway. But it's like it's like whoa, you know, it's real um, comfortable. I mean, I'm you know, I've just I've been having like um, you know like shirts that you know I haven't worn that now I can wear. That, you know, it's just all that kind of stuff. So that's the kind of stuff you know. People always ask me, "Well, do, are you feel? Do you feel better?" And, I, and I'm like, eh, I don't know that I necessarily feel. better. I feel like I'll feel better when I lose another. 80 pounds. Like when I lose 80, like when I get down to 200, I feel like I'll feel better. Okay. But, um, and that's the goal, right? 200 pounds. I want to get down to, you know, let's say, uh, 180 at the 180 is like the extreme. Like, could I possibly do it? Cause that was my high school weight, but I can carry 200 if I'm working out, building, you know, building mm-hmm. some muscle. Then 220, you know, if, if it's built, you know, if it's muscle, right? So, but 200 is, is the goal. So I'm 70. About seventy pounds from that. Yeah. Um. So, uh, like, like I said, January, January first, um, fasting, boom, going into high gear. Uh, I'm gonna get this done. I want to do it by by the summertime. By the time, by the time we, if we go to New York, if that works out, by the yeah. time we get there, I would love to be at about at at close to two hundred. Dope. Um, so I can go to New York and be like, "You can do it, New York!" <laughs> oh no, I'm not afraid of you. No, um, I've never been afraid of you. Um, so yeah, so that's why be afraid when you can I hit have, people with my car. I, that's um, right, that's right, <laughs> for, for me, my highlight of 2017 
like the thing is I uh, you know the birth of my last that's child. right <laughs> Sonia Sonia was born my last she's a eight last months, child eight, eight months now eight months Christmas she's eight months you know she's fun like she's she's hitting that point where she's cool now like before <laughs> you know she just kind of laid there now that she smiles and reacts to you like that's to me that's like okay now you're fun now now yeah. now I'll deal with you now like I'll mess with you it's been messed up like for the past couple of days she's been um struggling with the cold right so we've been like siphoning the snot and stuff from her nose, the congestion, because she's a baby. She can't right. blow her nose. And she's been fighting it. Like, forget about it. Like, terrible. Just like, I mean, she's learned how to like shove your hand out the way. Right. But um, now she's, she's just used to it. It's like a, a routine. But this morning, while Magda was, was doing that, like, I, I was in the bathroom also. And she would just like stare up at me and like smile and reach out for me, just like to grab my hand and shake it and just like laugh with me all the while. Like, like just like putting this thing up her nose and right. taking all the, and she just, every chance she got looking at me, I'm like, she made my freaking day. So, <laughs> right? So, nice. Yeah, she's already, you know, between her and Bean, the, the funny thing about her is that um, you try to make her laugh and she'll smile and she'll react. But nothing audible, right? Right. It had me worried for a while. Like nothing right. audible. Um, the only person that she audibly laughs with is Bean. Like he can do anything. He just shows up, and she'll start cracking up, and throw herself back, and whatever, and just start cracking up, and that's hmm. it. Like all she is like <laughs> watch, watch both of them. They're she, plotting something. She only needs she only needs her brother, right? Yeah. She'll stay Don't. with with all of us. Like she'll smile and. She'll like jerk around like she's laughing, but no sound. Yeah, Bean shows up and does something silly or does the same exact thing that I'm doing, and she cracks up like yeah. super loud. Don't and just, like don't turn your back on them. They're, they're, <laughs> they're plotting. Um, so we had Sonya weight loss. Two, we've done this two years. So let's real quickly. Uh, we're just gonna kind of just just point these out. Uh, Wonder Woman and Justice League came out this year. Boom, boom. Which for me and Jay, awesome. Uh, I watched it as Justice League a second time, and I enjoyed it so much, so much more. I watched it on Saturday with Magda, and she said that it's her second favorite after Man of Steel. Excellent. So, oh, excellent. Dope. Um, uh, just a couple of cool things, you know. Legacy Church, while it was a low light, it was, it was also a highlight. Yeah, because we did it. Because we did it. We started the process, and right, you and, know, we learned. We learned and, some stuff. And because now we're back on track. Well, now we're back on track. Um, and with that, that means Legacy Worship Nights. Legacy Worship Nights next uh, we'll year. We'll be working on getting that going. Uh, <clears throat> one of the great things, Jay was asked to speak at uh, a Blaze Youth Ministry in in, uh, in Gainesville. And we bring that as a highlight, not because he went and spoke there, but because um, of what happened. You know, we were worshiping. Jay, it uh, felt off. And then Jay went up and he's like, you know, it's, it just doesn't feel, it feels off. And so then... We came back and, and did another song and, and were able to just um, shift whatever was was not right and, right. and, and you know, we're able just to hear from God. I, so that I, was um, a very cool thing. I totally forgot about that. I For me, <laughs> it's like I seriously totally forgot about that. Um, for me, it was a highlight because I hadn't done that in a while. Right. And I was doubting. Like, no, like I was doubting my call. I was doubting the whole... Like, should I be doing this as far as Legacy Church? And being being invited to that was like, was whatever. But actually doing that and being used by God that way, um, like, revitalized me. So I was like, all right, let's, let's, let's get back. Right. Let's get back on track. So, so that was so. great. Um, another highlight was um, with uh, <laughs> our refugees. We had an episode with our refugees. <laughs> Uh, Michael and, and uh, Audrey. Audrey, well, Audrey wasn't. On Audrey the episode, wasn't here, but, but it was Michael, Michael was here with uh, along with with our buddy Junior. That was a highlight. It was a lot of fun. I love calling, call, you know, calling them the refugees. <laughs> they get so mad. They'd be like, "Ooh la la la!" We're evacuees. No, <laughs> you're refugees. <laughs> no, you're refugees. <laughs> um, then obviously the Jesus Freak uh, cruise. Oh man, Forget uh, amazing! That. You know, shout out to to all the people we met. J Lo. Um, Pocket Kim, Pocket Kim, Roy, Roy, um, Jr. of the Jr. Show, Jr. Right? The, yeah, it was just amazing. Actually, uh, I think uh, um, Roy, the, Roy said it might be coming up in February. So the the Boers, 
the um, it was some, some Nashville people. I don't remember. Yeah, the ones that you talked to them more than I did. That were connected to um to Go To Records to Toby and and all damn folk. Yeah, and all damn folk. All them. Uh, yeah, it was great. Um, and plus just just the cruise along the 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 walk adventure that we did. In the yeah, Bahamas it we, got we lost to the the old church. Right? Yeah, that and super old that church. That two hundred year old church, and yeah. and uh, it was yeah, great, 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 great time. It was awesome. And um, yeah, uh, it was fun. Um, and then I think our biggest you said you saved this, you set it up, you saved it for last. I think I put it first. You saved it. For last. I think I think our biggest uh, of all, like these are all highlights. But as far as the podcast is concerned, right, the the highlight that affected us. You know, you're right, right. Um, that, that caused me and Jay, this is funny because it caused me and Jay to kind of go, well, whoa, wait a minute. Maybe we, maybe we do have something here. Right. Um, and that is when Carl Lentz responded to us on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, and so for you, those that don't, don't remember, or maybe you're listening for the first time going, well, why am I listening to these idiots? <laughs> so, so Pastor Carl Lentz of Hillsong, New York, uh, Jay sent out a tweet because we had done a we had done an episode where we were talking about him and we were talking about when he was His, on the Doctor Oz, Oz show, show. Yeah. on how it was amazing how he 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 presented Jesus without saying Jesus because uh, it was they were supposed to be talking about spirituality and, mm-hmm. and and he he mentioned the Holy Spirit and Jesus. In a way that well, he really didn't mention the Holy Spirit. Right, Jesus. And, 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 and it was amazing. Like and, and the I was ready. Part, I was ready to go front and accept <laughs> Jesus right at the, <laughs> at the TV screen. Right, and the best part was that, you know, he was succinct. Right, right. He had nothing overblown or whatever. Because a lot of people believe that when you speak on Jesus or when you speak on biblical things, you have to like it has to be like an hour long. Right. It was succinct. It was easy. Like easy to understand, right? Right. Yeah, it was. It was. I was amazing. so, you know, me and Jay. One thing that we we always try to do is we give props when props need to be given. Yes. And and look, you know, I'm a super skeptical guy. <laughs> Jay's got some skepticism in him too. Yeah, I do. And so I think before that we had seen his interview with with Oprah, and we were we were kind of like, you know, like scratching our heads a little bit. Um, not necessarily, I mean, just because of some of his word choices and we were just kind of like just scratching our heads. Um, and, but then we see this and then we're just like, whoa, we became fans. And then we were just like, okay, so, um, all right, Jay, here's your piece of humble pie. Here's my piece of humble pie. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the whipped cream. Sprinkle it up with our words. And, and yum, uh, yum. And yum, yum, yum. So, right. so uh, that episode ended up being one of our highest listened to episodes. It, it still is. And actually. so, uh, it still is, right? So, Jay sends out a, you know, a tweet and he's like, uh, you know, when your, your podcast, something like, like when uh, your episode with Carl Lentz is the most listened to or whatever. Um, and so, so Jay called. So then, so Jay said that I didn't even know because I'm, I have a Twitter account. I'm never on it. And uh, all of a sudden, Jay hits me up, <laughs> and he's like, "Dude." Well, the thing is that I don't remember doing this, but I, and I, and I can't undo it because I've been looking to undo it, um, getting notifications from Twitter. Right. Right. So, <laughs> it's like, it's like, so I get a notification on my phone. Right, Carl Lentz, New York, liked your like your tweet. I'm like, what? And then Carl Lentz sent you a message. Like, what? <laughs> like, oh, right. I was like, no, it has to be a bot. And I go, and yeah. And he's like, yeah, I never pay attention to when someone tags me. Right. right. But for whatever reason, God showed me this, and I'm going to go listen right now. Yeah, and he was like, I'm going to listen to it. And so Jay hits me up, and Jay's like, oh, my gosh. He said he's going to listen. And I'm like, What? <laughs> And then, and we're then, like we're like um, we're like two schoolgirls who like whatever the big crush right of of them it like <laughs> spoke to them like that we were that like said, said we were hi. like we were like Monica and Jennifer on Friends when they met Jean Claude that episode where they were just like it's Jean Claude <laughs> <laughs> that's how we were but but the thing was that you know it wasn't so much that he said he was gonna listen but that he responded he actually listened. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. I was, that's where I was going. Mm-hmm. I was like, it was like we were excited that he, he, like even just took the time to re, to reply. Right. But then, when he was like, "We're gonna listen," we were like, "Oh, that's cool." We didn't believe he would. Yeah, no, of course not. Why would he? And then when he come back 
when he comes back, he's like, I listened. It's, you know, it's a couple of, you know, and, he, and, it, and it. And it was like, thank you. Thanks. And, right. You, you know, know and you're right on what you guys said about this. And what you guys said about that, you know, it's sad that the world is that way. I mean, it's, oh, my God. Yeah, or, and then he was like, well, he goes, well, you're, because there was one thing about our perception or maybe our perception on one thing was different or whatever. But it was very, comp- you know, and he, but then he was like, hit me up if you guys want me to be on your show. Yeah. And me and Jay didn't because we just couldn't believe that this was, like, real. And, and we didn't know how to do phone calls. And, and we so didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't want to screw that up. We didn't know how to do it. <laughs> So that was, but you know, we know how to do phone calls now. now, now. Yeah. No, and, and that was the highlight was the fact that um, this guy who, uh, I mean, he's blown up over the last six months. Like, he's right. really blown up over the last six months. Um, that he took the time just to re- just to respond. Dude, that he took the time to listen. And to listen. And then to give us a couple know, of idiots. Feedback, right? Yeah. So um, our goal, my goal, I mean, actually, we were talking about this. This is a dream light for next year. Is we want to we want to we want to try to get into New York, <laughs> get into New York like it's a like there's like a barrier, like there's, there's a like wall. <laughs> <laughs> try to we want to try to go to New York and and be able to sit down with him and do an episode with Carlin. So hopefully that works out. But anyway, um, but if it doesn't, it was just amazing this year. Like uh, this guy who's uh, well known, I guess. Listen to little Olas. You know, it's not about us going, yeah, Carl Lynch listens to us. Because he doesn't. He listened <laughs> yeah. to that one episode. Yeah. But that's, it was cool. That's still that he our, listened to that one episode. Our highest listen episode. <laughs> that is our highest listen episode. Um, and then, so that, that leads us right into our... And, uh, and, and actually, like, brought in our world audience. That brought in some people. Right. Yeah, him and uh, <laughs> him and uh, one of our other guests uh, brought in a lot of... Uh, Outsiders, uh, yeah. Uzuhan. <laughs> That's yeah. a, like our second most listened. Yeah, to yeah, podcast. it is. Like he he beat him for a while. He had a, he was he yeah, was beating was, him out for a while, was, but was, then it was the great. Carl Lentz episode. Um, and then so yeah, so then this year, uh, one of the the highlights we, was just the guests, the yeah, people we, that we were able to we um we were able to talk to. We try something new, right? We try something new on inviting either through phone calls or in person, right? You know, guests to be a part of our show. And be a part of our discussion, and not knowing what was what it was gonna sound like or look like, right? And um, it was a learning process because cables and you know we just just yeah. two just just two knucklehead Puerto Ricans trying to get yeah, things trying done. to figure it out. Yeah, and, and um, it's like some of the phone calls were great, some of them right, the we, Angie Rose phone call for whatever we, reason. We apologize oh. to, to Angie Rose for whatever so we'll, reason. We're we'll, having a lot of trouble with that one. Yeah, I, we're having I, a little was, trouble with it was, Chino. It was New York. <laughs> 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 yeah, we had some city. we had some issues. Um, but yeah, I'm blaming the whole city. Uh, <laughs> so, so next time we go to New York, the first person I see, I'm like, it's your fault. <laughs> like, you who gotta, are you? No, you got to say you got. <laughs> we got to find De Blasio. You got to play De Blasio. Gonna play De Blasio. Um, but yeah, so so uh, yeah, so we 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 uh, we had guests like in, either in house or or out. Um, and uh, it was. It was um, it was so much fun. I it really, was. I it really was. enjoyed the guests. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of run th- through them real quick. Uh, you know, we had uh, Hector Dominguez, formerly known as Witness, formerly known as Witness out of Chicago. Um, you know, and, and it was great talk. I, I, you know, I hope this year we got to talk to him again. I really, I really, uh, it was really fun talking to him. Uh, Chino, uh, Life, aka. Pastor Chino. Pastor Chino. <laughs> um, from what's the name of his church? Greater, uh, church. Greater church here uh, that he just started here in Kennesaw. Uh, good dude. Uh, Jay's known him a lot longer than I have, but my interaction with him was always great. We had Sam Ock, who we just loved to also love to a, death. A, a brilliant episode, also. Yeah, great episode. Um, <clears throat> if you can uh, if you go go back and find it, Sam Ock, uh, where we talked about kind of uh, just, you know. He talked about being Asian and and kind of the industry and and just some other things. And was a, it was a really great episode. We talked to DJ Four Twelve, um, our buddy DeBaron, uh, Dre Dre Mullen, who is the CEO of Inaxis Group. Yeah, um, we got a chance to talk with him, and that was just a great Uzuhan. And like and like these guys, like DJ Four Twelve, Dre Mullen, Uzuhan, like uh, I th- even even. Um, even Hector, like this was all all part of that New Year, new no no that was uh, no. God culture, right. 
the God Culture series that we did where we just kind of talked to different guys, different folks in, in different aspects of, of what they do in their culture, mm -hmm. right? You know, uh, Uzuhan. Yeah, what, what they do as far as, you know, being artists or being entrepreneurs or whatever right. and still keeping a culture of the kingdom wherever they wherever are. Wherever they are. And no matter what they do. Yeah. Uh, our buddy Juice joined us uh, for an episode. We had a lot of fun. Um, Angie Rose. uh it was great. Uh, I can't wait to talk to her again. Right. Because um, now, now that we got the phone call. Now that we got the issue. phone call situation. Or, <laughs> or, 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 you know, hey, listen, we might end up going to New York and doing just going just for interviews. Yeah, we do that. That'd be amazing. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. We, we had last week uh, DJ Michael, uh, Angel, our buddy Angel's joined us a couple of times. Uh, he was going to join us today, but unfortunately his wife um, was sick. Uh, our buddy Junior, which mentioned earlier, uh, when he was uh, a refugee, and I think he's and he's been here before. Just, just he's, him. yeah, and and he and thank thank you, Junior, for helping us get the phone call. Yes, he's the man. And then <laughs> you know, and then Juni, uh, Jay's a son, who slept was, both times he was here. No, no, he slept the first time. Like the he was like he was out last week. He was doing homework. He was doing homework, and he was um, and studying for finals, but he was like interjecting. Every now and then with my yeah, old, old mumbles. Um, <laughs> and then, um, you know, I, I, I left these for last because these are guys that we met on the cruise. Uh, with, now, was Bert last year? No, Bert wasn't last year, but, you know, I just threw him in there because, you know. No, Bert was last year, not this year, but last year. Right, last year. Yeah. Right. So, we're, year, listen, we're going to throw Bert up there because we just love the dude. He was such a great interview. Yeah, it was We got to talk awesome. to him again. But um, well, you know, if we go back to New York, he, I'm he, telling you, I, I think it. I think we might be doing like an interview tour of New it's York, like an interview tour. Um, that's dope. So yeah, so uh, and then uh, NRT, the new release today, guys. Um, Kevin right. and Kevin and Marcus, Kevin and Marcus. Um, we met him at the cruise. Great guys, love him to death. Um, and they were so kind to to, to join us last uh, couple weeks back. Um, and just talk about you know what they do. And right, um, to talk a little more about new release today and, and who they are and what they do, but then also to introduce the the We Love Christian, we love Christian Music, Music Awards, Awards, right? Awards, yeah. So that was a lot of fun um, talking to them, uh, and uh, so much fun. So that was great. That was great. So those so those are just some of the guests that we had, and, and this year we're looking at, um, you know. So I guess that leads right into really what what we got coming for, coming up for next year. Um, but let's, but, but you know, um, yeah, but it, but having guests on our show, you know, taught us that it's um, well, not not that it taught us, but it was it, each each call, even the even the bad ones, right? It was still like a fun experience. Yes, right. That um, that you know, for twenty eighteen. We are going to. We want to continue. Continue it and expand on that a little more. Yeah. Like because this time, just to test it out, what we did, we 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 were we were, were intentional about inviting specific people for specific topics. Topics, right? Whereas in 2018, we're just gonna we're just gonna invite, invite people. people. Yeah, like and just have them join the conversation and, and whatever it is we're talking about. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, we'll yeah, we'll make it. You know. Uh, Centric to them a bit, but yeah, but it's, we right. just want to have conversations um, because I think I think that you know that's the one thing we don't in today's society. We've talked about this before. We don't have conversations anymore, right? It's all my team, your team. We're against each other, um, and that's it. Or or it's you know how can you know what will my conversation with you benefit me? Right, right. You know, and and it's and it's not about that. It's just yeah. So there's there's connecting. definitely yeah. There's definitely people and artists and stuff that um, we've come across that we've met, the whatever that um, we would just love to have conversations with, find out what their stories are. Yeah, and it, and it's um, and it's funny to me. So be more intentional about about that. This, it's funny to me when up. I have when I have artists that hit me up, say, like, "Hey, so wh what are you going to have me on your podcast?" And, and my my first response is like, man, you don't want to be on my podcast, man. We just, we, our podcast is like tiny. We got like three people that yeah, listen to yeah, us. Yeah, you'll you'll help us more than <laughs> right? we help you. But it's still it's it's a cool thing because, I mean, it shows that they're aware, right? Yeah. Like they're aware. And, right? Like when, right. when we invited Michael for last week, 
Like, I had to tell him to shut up because he was like, dude, wow, seriously? Like, man, yeah. you know, you've had this guy and that guy. You want me? Are you yeah. sure? Like, uh, dude, just stop it. Come on. Get on the podcast. Yeah, and, and when he was here, he was, yeah, he's a funny, he's a funny <laughs> right? kid. And it, and, it was, and it was a really cool episode, right? With yeah, so, so we definitely want to, yeah, we're definitely going to um, be more intentional about having people, not necessarily for a topic, but just conversation just to so have conversation, i mean just to see where they are you might what's have going on. we might end up with six episodes we're gonna have <laughs> you know like six concurrent episodes where we have people on and that's fine we're just gonna but it, it's part of it is 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 like when jay was saying like when when if somebody says to him hey when can when can i be on your podcast it'll be like all right let's sit down and figure out the date instead of why do you want to be on my podcast so that's we, we, we're going to be more intentional than that uh next year so that's so that's one of the things the coming highlights so here's some of the so here's some of the things coming up um uh next year that that we uh we hope to really get get jump jumping off. We'll we'll start with Juni. Hopefully he graduates high school. He yeah. should be he should be on track. <laughs> no, he's on track. He'll graduate. Um and then like I like I just mentioned earlier, we you know we're we uh we're kind of amongst ourselves between me and Jay we're talking about just that whole New York tour idea. Just trying to see like, you know, if we go to New York, you know, we don't want to go to New York just to go to New York. Um and and be there for let's say four days of just hanging out in New York. Right. You know, we want to make sh- we want to go to New York to to accomplish. You know, yeah, we'll have it's like it's like you know every mission trip, right? You you work for five days and then you have the sixth day where you just gotta go shopping you can go and you hang out, look at the city, you know, whatever. So that's be a tourist. Yeah. So that's kind of what what we're looking at is like you know how what can we do? Who can we you know how can we set up? Hopefully talking to Carl Lentz. Hopefully talking to. Um, or maybe uh, a couple other pastors, maybe right. setting some things up so we can go talk to these folks and, and have them um, and have them for the podcast and, and, and have them so we could release it and maybe, maybe you know, set up places for, for Jay to go speak and, and, and to, you know, just um, uh, share gospel. So super excited about that. Um, you know, it's just figuring it out. Uh, 90 Seconds with Pastor Jay is coming back. Uh, we we did it um, a couple years back. We started it, um, but just yeah. It, that it, what, when we started it before, it was um, attached to to our friend Jay Blaze's show in Miami. Yeah, right. But Jay Blaze is no longer in Miami. He is now in Houston. He's a DJ for um, he's a well not a DJ. He's a radio personality yeah, for Engine, right? For uh, Engine Radio. So um, so. But, it, yeah, so we were doing it, and then it kind of it kind of passed away, as it, as it were. Um, we kind of, and and it's on it's on. This was one of those where we sh- we should have we, we. This is one of those where we started strong, and then we kind of. And this is what we, we talk, were talking, what about we talked about earlier. So we're bringing it in. We got a a connection with this great kid who's gonna who's gonna actually record. We're gonna do have actual video and audio of the ninety seconds with Pastor Jay, and that's gonna be attached right. um, to the Overflow Podcast. Um, on Insta and, and on um, uh, what is it uh, on like iTunes and, and Google and all that stuff. So it'll right. be Overflow Podcast presents. It'll be ninety seconds with Pastor Jay. So we're really excited about that. Uh, Legacy Worship Nights, working on that um, right now. We're just still in that phase of trying to figure out where can we do this thing um, because, um, like anything, that's you know that's what you need. It's like where, yeah, where do we where do we go? Where do we start? Um, <clears throat> And uh, and that's it. Is there anything else uh, no, that you can think of? I th- th- there is one thing. What's that? That I forgot to put on this list. Uh oh. What's that? This one thing. Oh. Our the new thing we're gonna try next year. We're gonna um. All right. So um, <laughs> maybe I didn't put it on this list on purpose, but whatever. We talk about it all. Uh, um, you brought it up. Well, two things, right? Yes. We're gonna. We're going to start. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at Hawkeye now. We're gonna start doing video of a few of our episodes, right? <laughs> right. right, right now, as we record this episode, we're testing video. Right? Correct. We're, we're not gonna upload it. You're never gonna see no, tonight's video. No one's gonna see. But it. we're testing it to see how it works out to see if we like it. Um, but we're doing that because we're going to four times a year, we're going to, we're going to have what we're going to call the, yeah, um, our goal is for four times this year, a round table discussion on, 
on bigger or heavier topics. Correct. Right, where it's Joaquin and myself and invited guests. Correct. Right. And um, those episodes we're going to record and put That's up the there. Goal. Right, that's right. That's the goal, right? That's the goal is to, to record them so you have the audio and the video. And the video of them. Yeah. That. And 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 maybe we'll start recording uh the sessions so that on uh one of the things that we're gonna be doing is when we're switching to mon- the uploading the episodes on Monday. So maybe on Monday, you know, you'll get the video and No, yeah, you get the video up on YouTube and the audio and the audio. And you can for I don't know why, but you can look at us if you want and then <laughs> um or just listen. I would just hey, listen. Maybe but. your future wife will watch you on YouTube and be like, hey. or or they'll use me to scare children <laughs> to behave. So, so <laughs> <dumb>. <laughs> He's gonna come get you. <laughs> but yeah, it's just new things that we're doing. Yeah, but so we're just trying to. The the thing with the video is not just so you can see our ugly mugs, no but one wants to so see that, that we can to to have video of the actual. Um, I just I just said what it was. <laughs> the, round <laughs> the round table, table discussions. Yeah. Right, that we're going to be having because there are a lot of things that happen that take place, a lot of articles that we find and we talk about that we try to cover on the first half of the audio of the of the podcast. Right, but they're it, they're so full of information, right. so rich some, that we don't yeah. we don't have time. Yeah, some of them. Yeah, some of them. They they deserve to be explored with guests with right. with other folks to get other perspectives. Um, because you know, me and Jay think we're right a hundred percent of the time, and, and sometimes ninety nine point nine percent of the times we are. Yeah, point one percent we're not. <laughs> so, right. So we're know. we're gonna invite either artists or other pastors. Excuse me. To be here, we're gonna record it on video and the audio, and release both things. So right. that right, hopefully that's the goal. You know, um. Definitely we can have those conversations. Yeah, you'll definitely have the audio. Now, the recording aspect, uh, we're we're working on that, and and hopefully we'll be able to do that. But, um, yeah, we just uh we just want to do that, be more engaged, and and a few we guys feel the things that we want to work on, and and hopefully, we'll improve, and and hopefully we'll give you a better experience as, as kind of as our as part of our goal. Um, before we close out, because we're kind of here at the end, Jake. So what you know, I I was just thinking about this as we're talking. So we talked about things Uh-oh. that. We talked about what are some things that we wanna that we wanna do for the podcast. But um, let me ask you this: um, what is what is something that you would like to accomplish? Let's say personally um, this year. What, what's one thing you would like to not so not so much like a New Year's resolution, like you know, in in, in the sense of you know, oh, I want to lose weight, not that kind of thing. But I do actually. But maybe, <laughs> but maybe, what's something that? So let me put it this way: like something that would be. That would be personal, and and helping personal growth, um, uh, as a what, whatever as a father or as just as a, as a believer. Like, what's what you know? Do do you have anything? Is there is one or two things that you're like? This is for as a as a as Jay. These are things I wanna I wanna kind of accomplish to better myself. Well, um, hmm, put me on the spot like that. That's right. Um. There's a secret project that I've been working on. Secret projects. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'll um, I'll share it. Uh, I've been so not a secret anymore. I've been writing a book, right? An ebook. It'll be an ebook, you know. Right. For for download. I mean, who writes books anymore, really? Right. Um, <laughs> ah! But I've been writing a book. You know, this whole idea of legacy has resonated deep with me and but you know like the idea or, or or the heart behind legacy is you know leaving a legacy of believers right it, it's 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 about the remnant and but it's been personal to me because like of my kids right and i don't have trump money right so i i Correct. can't i can't leave my kids millions right but it's more important. It's become very important to me to leave them a legacy of me as a believer, right? Okay. Me as not just Pastor Jay for everybody else, but you know, Pastor Jay for them or for the family or you know, Dad the Christian. You know, right? Not perfect, struggle, but still, God is the center. God is the focus. And I've been really thinking about you know, what do we? What are we leaving behind? What am I leaving behind? For my kids, 
as far as something that will help mold and build their faith. Okay. Right? So I've been, um, I'm, I'm three chapters in. <laughs> I'm three chapters in. And, but it, 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 it's so busy with everything else that it's been a while that I've, well, that, I, that I've gotten in because I've been three chapters in for a while. Right. So I would like actually to finish that, to finish this book, writing it by my birthday at least. Okay. Right. So. All right. So you want to try to. All right. Anything else? Um. Uh, other than being consistent with the podcast, ninety seconds and Legacy Nights. <laughs> that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, both of our goals is to be consistent in those things. And um, yeah, and Legacy Nights that Legacy Nights can can jump off and and all right, and, so those and, are and be fruitful. So that was a big Legacy Nights is kind of a bigger thing. So so you want to so personally, so I'm looking for a personal thing. So personally, you want to try well, to but but, but Legacy Nights for me is personal. Well, es- especially now. No, with, but with, I'm saying, but I'm saying as a, with Legacy Church. No, but I'm saying as a as a like that's ministry. Right. Oh, okay. Right. So I'm saying as a as a as an individual person. So I'll, so I'll, I'll give you another shot. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you mine, and then I'm gonna give you another shot here. <laughs> so so there's two there's two things I think for me. Um, number one is, and I've talked about this before, this idea of um of Shabbat. Um, one of my goals this year is to is to is to find that space during the week where I just disconnect. Right. Um, because I think that, you know, I mean, I, I've I've given the you know, there's tons of reasons to do it. Um, but I know for me, there's there's certain things that I don't do that I like to do because I'm um I'm so connected that I'm so distracted. So, f- so for me, one of the things I want to I want to begin to practice this year for myself. Um, and anyone is welcome to join me is that idea of Shabbat of taking maybe Sunday or maybe part of Saturday and Sunday, like a, you know, um, but taking 24 hours to just disconnect, you know, listen to my records, read my books, smoke my cigars, but just disconnect, you know, not be texting, not be on Facebook, just mindless, like a drone, you know, just scrolling at nothing. And then my, my second thing is that I would like to do for this year, and, I, and I, it kind of ties into this a little bit, is um, it's just the idea of meditation. Um, it's just meditating, silence. I don't like silence. Silence is a very difficult thing for me, <laughs> right? That's why I always, that's why, I mean, even, even if I have no music, I'm talking to myself, right? I mean, like the idea of just sitting still, of being still, as scripture says, being still, it's very hard for me. It drives me insane. Silence is like screaming in my ear. Um, but that's a, that's a discipline I, I want to develop this year, is um, just being able to sit and meditate, whether it's having scripture playing, right, whether it's, you know, and, and just meditating on the scripture. Um, uh, there's a there's an app called Abide, which is a, a, a it's that's the discipline of meditation where yeah. they'll 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 say they'll read you a verse and they'll say meditate on this and they give you time to just sit in silence and then they might say here's an idea and then think on these things and then sit in silence so so that kind of that meditation of just sitting in silence thinking about god uh or maybe just not thinking just kind of letting it be you know slowing down um I, I think those are things will be healthy for me, you know, kind of a health, healthier thing. So those are kind of two of the things that I, I, I'm going to be uh, pursuing. Yeah, you know, you say that. This new year. Um, well, yeah, my book is still that. But, like, this week I've been really, really, not, not now that I know the gist of what you're saying, I've been, like, struggling with myself. Right. Right, because I... Um, I want to be more intentional about getting back to having my my set separate time where I'm just on my face seeking God's face, right? Before marriage and job and all this stuff, like I would I would do it, right? right? And it was always at the same time, same place, you know, just trying to get into that alone time with God. And it's like now, because of everything that is going on, like it's it's hard. 
it's right. it's it's hard and it's not and it's not hard because because it's impossible it's hard because it's not intentional correct like it's not intentional before i was intentional this time it's not intentional and babies and all that but like i said the kids go to sleep by 8 but i want to be right i want i'm so focused on trying to be a good dad and a good husband by giving them attention right that i feel like that's Right, my my godly duty is done there, but I'm not intentional about building upon my relationship with God. Correct. So, right. yeah, I've I've been like really like struggling with like having like inner arguments, like arguments with myself. No, but you know I do this and I do that. Right. You know, but you know the reading of the Bible or listening to podcasts of preachers and all that. All that is great. Right. All that is great, but it's not separate time where I just you know intentionally. Cut away from things, not so much um, Shabbat, but like intentionally separate myself and like sep- and going into some place and just like just crying out to God, just praying right. and just being silent to listen and seeking Him more and you know things like that. So yeah, 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 you know. No, like, I get that. Yeah, and, it's, and that's hard, right? Because I know that I know that like, I mean, um, <clears throat> it's hard. You know, what's hard about that. It's hard because. We have the time spread throughout all the day, but we're so, and this is kind of the, the idea of the interconnectedness or too much interconnectedness where you're, you know, it takes me 20 minutes to, to drive to work. 20, that's, those are 20 minutes that I could be listening to scripture, worshiping, mm-hmm. right? But what, you know, and just saying, you know, God here, let's, Let's get through this day, right? Whatever, you know, that prayer. But what do I do? I listen to a podcast that makes me laugh. Mm. I, you know, I, and so I'm, I'm already disconnected. I wake up disconnected. Then I just go throughout my day. And when am I going throughout? I'm disconnected from God, but I'm connected into something that is not bad, but it's not edifying my yeah, spirit. It's not, yeah, it's not edifying. You know, and then, and then, um, and then I get off of work, and what am I doing? I'm listening to the podcast because I didn't finish it this morning. Mm-hmm. Then I come home. So, so I, you That's know, the things like before yeah. I would listen to a podcast on my way to work, and then another one on my way home. Right, right. But of different, like I would listen to like Furtick in the morning and Chandler on the way home. Right, but I stopped doing that. I just listen to the news or I listen to the radio. But still, even if I get back to that, I still want to be intentional about. You know, like what Vineyard used to call green space, right? Right, just right. separating myself. So, like, yeah, because it takes you thirty the, minutes. Thirty minutes to get to work. Yeah, like forty minutes. Forty minutes, like forty minutes is an an instrumental track of like worship stuff, mm-hmm. and that's that's like forty minutes of just you and God time. Yeah, exactly. But we, but what do we do? We fill it with other stuff. Because even the podcast, even though you know it's 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 preaching and it's teaching, whatever, but it's still a distraction. Right, you're not right? connecting. I'm, I'm, you're I'm, not connected. I'm listening to this preacher and, and and it's good and it's edifying me, but I'm not connecting, connecting directly to, to the source. Right, and and that's what right, I so feel that my heart, yeah. like it's crying for. Yeah, so it's figuring out. Yeah, it's figuring out that space. Um. Word. All of us, all of us need that. So you know, hey, just think about this year um, as as we're kind of wrapping up here. Just think about you know, hey, what is it that you want to accomplish this year um, for yourself? You know, and and listen, it's okay. Be selfish if you want to be selfish about it. You know, I want to lose ten pounds, lose ten pounds, or I want to be able to run, you know, a marathon. But, but I do, do it. I do want to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do it. Like like do that thing. But. Um, don't make it a resolution like, you know, I, th- I think, you know, when we say, well, you know, res- I think that like the idea of resolutions is always very like failure based, failure thought of. Right. Because it's right. like, why didn't you know, I want to lose weight or, yeah. well, this year I want to read 20 books. No. How about this? This year I want to read, you know, Frank Peretti. I want to read three of his books. And that, let that be the thing. Let that be the thing that that launches you. Frank Perry, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. L- launches you For into real? into um, <laughs> like what you pull into what you want to do. And I want to encourage you guys to think about think about. We we read an article. Um, and I'm just gonna Russell Brand, um, and in it, I know we weren't gonna talk about, it, but but this is but this ties into the, to what I'm to to what I'm talking about. You know, he talked about how part of our problem is that we're so connected to everything, 
that we just don't have any time. We, we're addicted to just everything. We're addicted to not information. We're addicted to be able to mm -hmm. get things that we kind of lose. We lose a bit, a bit of ourselves. And so, I'm, you know, I encourage you, maybe think about how can I disconnect and disconnect from the internet, disconnect from my phone, but connect with my family. You know, where where on Sunday, you know, on Sunday afternoon, we get home, but we don't turn on the TV. We pull out board games and we just play, you know, or we, we in Jay's case, it would be building blocks. Right. Because I don't know, maybe Candyland. But, um, you know, but but what yeah, we're not we're not there yet. You know, <laughs> so just the blocks. Right. The, the, the blocks. So what? So the idea, the, the idea, though, is right, is is how can we connect with each other this coming year? And and disconnect from some of the distractions that are allow that are deteriorating and and ruining our relationships and ruining our um, uh, ruin our, our sense our, of community. Our, yeah, our connectedness. So um, yeah, man. So we just want to leave you leave you with that, I guess. So um, anything else, Jay? No, just um, say goodbye to 2017 and hello 2018. Hello 2018. So hey, I'm Happy Joaquin. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm Joaquin. <laughs> I'm Jay. And this is the Overflow Podcast. Thanks for listening. Remember to head on over to thisisoutcry.com for more content. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, or Stitcher.